Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I think it's safe to say at this point that it is officially time to start saving packs because of Foot Birthday. As it's one of the marquee promos that we see every spring in Ultimate Team, there's bound to be big cards, including icons and big upgraded cards and packs, and plenty of SBCs to craft. And let's face it, right now, there are plenty of halfway decent packs with SBCs and objectives that can get yourself a really big head start on Foot Birthday if you're interested in that sort of thing. I'm going to break down Foot Birthday in today's video. I know it's still a couple days away. We still don't even have confirmation that it's this Friday, but there's a very high likelihood that it is. And I want to break down what you can expect with that and why it's maybe good to start preparing early. Now, we're also going to talk about Showdown Series, what could be coming out today, and maybe any surprises with that that EA might have. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content with first, actually, um, it was a pretty slow day yesterday, but let's start off with something that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Another mistake. We pointed it out in yesterday's video a couple days ago as well, and EA finally realized it for themselves. The 85 plus campaign mixed upgrade pack, if you noticed, it's gone. They took it away because it did not indeed show road to the final items as a possible reward. I don't know how it was so easy to fix the uh, icon, Encore icon upgrade with the Thunderstruck issue. I guess that was easy because they just had to add the text. But like, same thing here. Why can't they just add to the text of the SBC description and bring it back into the game? They've taken the SBC away and it is still not available to my knowledge. I'm going to go check right now, see if they've updated it and added it in. I see nothing of the 85 plus campaign in the upgrade section right now so it is still gone i don't know when it's going to come back but it does say here at the end that players who completed and got road to the final items will receive corrected rewards in game in the coming days so i'm guessing you're going to get another 85 plus pack back so if you got a road to the final you're going to get compensation so yet again another set of compensation that is coming to this game now let's talk about the other content that dropped yesterday on a monday in ultimate team we had our daily showdown sbc it was yet again not a bad one but one that probably does not interest everybody i will tell you right now if you don't watch the nwsl a lot which i don't we've talked about it we've done a little bit of research crystal dawn is the sbc to do and it is very cheap if you just want to do a showdown sbc with the potential to upgrade to a pretty solid card two play style pluses four four high high work rates she is five foot one very small but also very pacey she can play right back center defensive mid center attacking mid and center mid and with a plus two upgrade which seems very possible um this card could look pretty cracked so that's kind of the option that i would say to, to go for there crystal dunn plays for gotham gotham are the reigning champions of nwsl um so they would likely have a very high chance of winning this game which take place takes place on friday now there's other cards very interesting mccaskill has finesse shot incisive pass but also block bruiser and slide tackle very interesting play styles for a center attacking mid and a striker, but four star, five star with semi decent stats in there as well, and a pretty cheap price for her. I mean, 35,000 coins there and 60k for Crystal Dunn. If you want to do it, go for it. If it doesn't interest you, it's one of those that you can definitely just pass on by pretty easily. Now, the best part of yesterday was the player pick craft, the 80 plus player picks returned exactly how we hoped they would. And uh, it's the same requirements as well, right? Six players, one rare gold. That is it. Very, very nice. And also the 83 plus player pick returned. Regular 83 plus pick, which is a one of four. You can do it three times a day. I mean, I don't think this is fantastic value, but I mean, hey, it's an 83 plus player pick and it's a one of four option. So that's there if you want to do it as well. But the fact that the 80 plus player pick is out, the exchange grind, the 80 pluses, that grind and the menus is still alive and well make sure like i haven't done them yet but do your daily gold upgrades right get those put them into player picks you'll get some fodder craft a team in the league player pick at least or go and do 83 times tens to even craft any icon upgrade if you want to the menu craft is still absolutely there with the fact that the 80 plus player pick was re-released so there's not much else to say there except the menu grind continues on and that is fantastic another thing that continued on yesterday was the store packs ea I think I have an untradeable duplicate here. Ah, and a team of league pick. All right, let's open this. But EA continued with the crazy lightning round spam again yesterday. Everything that was in packs, like the campaign re-release. Um, I'll just take buyer here, pretty mid pick. Um, the campaign re-release cards and especially high rated fodder continued to drop, guys. With that supply and also the supply of the 
UEFA Marquee Matchups SBC, which gives you a prime gold player spec. It's pretty cheap to do, 7,000 coins. Can't overlook that. That is tradable supply. But really, the tradable supply that keeps hitting is the store packs, man. And I know not everybody is opening them, but like, look at what it did yesterday. Hegerberg as an 89 rated. I sold all of my 89s last night at like 27, 27, 5. Um, and they dropped, they were almost 25,000 coins at one point. They were like 26 flat. When the lightning rounds end, they bump back up a little bit. They are ridiculously low. 88s are 15k. 87s are 10,000 coins. And I think 90s are the cheapest that they have ever been. 37,000 coins for these cards is crazy. They have never been this cheap besides the beginning of the game when there weren't really any SBCs out, which is absolutely mental how much supply EA has been putting on the market. But also it's the lack of demand, right? We had, of course, the uh, Shin SBC, which is now looking a little bit more decent in terms of value because um, of fodder dropping so much. Yeah, Shin is now 1.6 mil to complete. So the SBC doesn't look as terrible, but still, it's a lot to do. 16 squads. Um, we're going to need another Icon SBC to make fodder go up or some crazy SBCs during foot birthday, which there definitely is potential for. Um, so we'll be watching fodder because it is very, very low. And I know I'm not super interested in investing in it right now, but it is at prices that I would say if you're interested in putting some in the club and just stocking it, like to hold on for whenever it goes up there is a possibility that these could be some of the lower points again remember the last time that 89s were 27,000 coins 26k was kind of a low point right they went back up to 32k we could be at one of those low points again with again one of the lowest points of the entire year and there's going to be a lot of SBCs during foot birthday as we'll talk a bit about today so fodder is down bad that is for sure except for the middle tier range 84s continue to do good. Um, they were 2.5K, now they're 2.1, I think, because of the lightning rounds. But the Icon pack is still out and available. People are crafting that. Fodder is a good place to maybe lazy list right now if you would like to try to make some coins off of some SBC demand. Now, yesterday's game, Newcastle versus Chelsea. A lot of us did ESOC. Some of us did Chillwell. Chillwell and Chelsea came out the winners. So we have our winners upgrade Chillwell. Hopefully, he's upgraded today. They upgraded a Kanji pretty fast and Bobby Clark. I'm hoping that they upgrade Chillwell today to a 90 rated card. And if you really want to put Chillwell into the evolution, you could as make him a 91 rated item. It's unfortunate that Isak and Newcastle were not able to pull that one out. A lot of us are rooting for that upgrade. But if you did Chillwell and you're a Chelsea fan, GG's, your upgrade should be coming. He is getting a plus two. And uh, the other thing from yesterday that's very interesting to talk about is the content tweet from EA showing us and giving us some insight of what's happening this week in Ultimate Team. The biggest thing to see here is the Icon SBC is a Winter Wild Cards player. And if you think about it, a lot of the Winter Wild Cards icons were very, very cheap. So we don't have an official leak yet of who this is. I imagine that that leak is going to be coming very soon. But um, we've already got Yashin, Yashin, right? That just recently. And I don't think they would drop an SBC for a card like Owen or Rikalme or Rush. Those guys are too cheap, right? But some of the names that stick out, Pele, that would almost be too insane, I think, it's possible, but Pele is so expensive, like 5 million, 5.7 mil for Pele. I don't know if they're going to go that high. I think somebody around the range of like Hugo Sanchez, who's 384,000 coins. Um, Stoichkov could be um, possible for this. I think Fernando Torres is very popular, uh, possible for this as well. And uh, Raul, those would be my guesses. Maybe Didier Drogba as well for a pretty overpriced but the best version of Drogba that we have in this game I think it's going to be one of those icons in like the three to four to maybe a million coin range if I had to guess but watch out for a leak of that that'll really depend on how fodder moves if it's Pele that's going to make things go pretty crazy but I mean I'm hoping for Pele don't get me wrong but I just think that seems too good to be true if we're going to set our expectations there also Bundesliga player of the month is coming out this week E Libertadores objectives new evos um upgrade SBCs and more objectives as well as season five. We'll talk about that here in a second as well. So the winter wild cards icons definitely like the biggest question mark out of all that as to what could be coming this week on this game. Now let's get to the big point of today's video, right? We're talking about foot birthday, right? Because that is the promo that we expect to come this Friday. I'm pretty sure the anniversary for ultimate team, um, kind of like the birthday for ultimate team is either this coming Thursday or Sunday. I always forget the, the date, whether it's the 14th or the 17th, but it is coming very, very soon. And foot birthday is a promo that we always look forward 
to, and it's always right around this time of the year. And I have to imagine that it's going to be this Friday after a week like this, a kind of SBC only no content week, EA is going to want to bring it right back up. I think it's a very, very high likelihood that foot birthday is this Friday. Now let's talk about foot birthday a little bit. If you didn't play last year, or if you're unfamiliar, this is kind of a roundup I tweeted yesterday by one of the leakers about foot birthday, which again, this year, it's going to be Ut birthday, ultimate birthday. It's going to be weird instead of saying foot birthday without the foot, right? But we're having two teams of players, two teams of icons, which is basically normal to what we had last year. We're also going to have a special ultimate birthday evolutions card design, which is really dope. Again, this card design, I don't know, man, I'm going to have to see it in the game because on a face value just right here, I don't like the way that it looks, just me being honest. But Foot Birthday always brings the hype. It's one of the marquee promos, like we mentioned, of the year. It's kind of like you look forward to Black Friday, you get Team of the Year, you have Foot Birthday, Team of the Season, and then like footies in the summer, and then some other things in between. But those are like the main, main promos that you look forward to during the course of the cycle of this game. Foot Birthday is always big, and they always go all out for it. We're going to have, it says here, daily SBCs and objectives. So I don't know if that's a leak um, or if that's an assumption because we've had a lot of daily SBC content. We'll see. During Fantasy, we had daily SBCs. We're having daily SBCs right now. We had a ton of player SBCs released recently. Maybe that's going to continue. And then, of course, there's going to be big store packs, right? They're going crazy with the packs right now. They're definitely going to continue to go crazy during Foot Birthday for sure. Now, what I want to do is do a little overview of Foot Birthday as well and talk about what happened last year, what could maybe roll into this year as well. Last year was the 14th, so this is the 15th year of Ultimate Team, which is pretty freaking crazy. Last year, the promo team was decent. There were some big name players in there, but we were really disappointed with the boosts on the cards. I remember looking at the Darwin Nunez card that was released and comparing it to his ones to watch card and being so upset that it was only plus ones on the card, like stat wise. But of course, this year and last year are very different in terms of the power curve. Last year, the power curve went up so quickly, so fast because of all the World Cup content and all of that that it's like EA had a hard time of boosting the power curve until like team of the season because the power curve was already so high at that point of the year in March. So we had very small boosts last year, and that was actually consistent with a lot of the promo team. I remember looking at like Marquinhos's card, and he didn't have that big of an upgrade from one of his World Cup cards to like plus ones and plus twos, and it was a plus one overall. So we were disappointed with that. But what actually carried Foot Birthday last year, guys, was the swaps. The swaps program last year was crazy. It was so good. And I know, of course, that it's there's no swaps this year, right? They've kind of replaced that with the season and with the objectives. But there's still a hope with the season ending this week that there's a new season that could be coming out with foot birthday related cards and stuff inside of it that could be really hyped. So I'm crossing my fingers for some good content inside of the objectives with the XP and everything like that. Because of course, if you're trying to finish off the season, it does end this Thursday. I'm going to cut it very close. I don't know if I'm going to get level 25. We will have to see. Um, but that is coming as a part of this promo as well. I would safe to say, I think it's safe to say that the season's going to have some sort of incorporation with foot birthday for sure. One thing that was interesting last year is we have, of course, the promo icons and we had the twin upgrades mini release that Darwin Nunez that I just showed you. Um, remember, he had a five star skills version and a five star weak foot version. Same thing with Zinchenko. It was the mini release, those three cards that they released that had two different versions. So that was very interesting. Um, and of course, we had foot birthday icons. And I will say the icons last year, I remember I was lucky enough to pack this George Best. This George Best card was absolutely insane it was one of my best pack pulls of the year he got a five-star skill move boost and that's kind of one of the things you expect out of foot birthday every single year is the five-star skill move or weak foot upgrade that's that's honestly like a staple of foot birthday so that's one thing that i would say is like nate should i save packs should i start to think about that or not you know, you're probably going to have a chance at packing even some of the lower tier players that have a five star weak foot or a five star skill move boost, because that is something that is like, that's been a staple for birthday for a very, very long time. That's something we've kind of come to expect as well. I hope that that stays the same this year as well. Also, I hope that every single player who gets released in this foot birthday promo has two playstyle pluses. We've gone far enough now since the beginning of two playstyle plus cards at team of the year that it's been three months almost, guys. We need to have every single card in the promo teams released with two playstyle pluses. I mean, they're almost to that point. Like the only ones that don't have playstyle pluses doubled up now on promo teams uh, that are getting released are like the fodder ones, especially during uh, Fantasy FC, right? The most recent promo. 
So I hope that it is every single player as a part of foot birthday. So again, you're going to have icons that are in packs. You're going to have two teams of birthday players, and there's always going to be good SBCs, man. Like you think about players that get into the foot birthday type promos. We're, there's always big headline name players. Bernardo Silva last year, Marquinhos. The last year, the players were not that great, I'll be honest. We had a Felix that was good. We had the Darwin. It was the icons that were better. If you look at team two of for birthday, you had Vinny, you had Bruno Guimaraes, which is a crazy card right here. You had Maldini, Kaká, the infamous Kaká, Eusebio, Wayne Rooney, Desai. Um, you had a Werner, a Tellez. This Ganduzi double up here was crazy. Anthony was a very... Uh, popular card and a very expensive card too so the players last year weren't as good but there's always big name players in there that are going for kind of like the heavy hitter home run pack sellers right i'm gonna throw a guess out there i'm gonna say that hyun min son gets a foot birthday this year i think him uh also neymar um, have been shouts for players that could be headlining the promo hyun min son had a foot birthday card or in FIFA 19, and I think if EA were to have a lot of fun with this foot birthday, they would do like a throwbacks foot birthday where it was like, we're gonna release throwbacks of some of the craziest foot birthday cards that we've had in previous versions of Ultimate Team. Like that would be super dope. They did that in FIFA 18, um, and I think they should bring that back and do it again for uh, FC 24. I think that'd be a super cool concept. They could do some really cool graphics with that. So I'm just giving them ideas. I know the promo is probably already decided and who's going to be in it's kind of already decided as well at this point, I'm sure on their end. But I think that would be super sick to just kind of throw a different level of hype into the promo uh, for sure. So that's something to watch out for. And again, guys, I think if you're thinking about saving packs right now, I know some of you guys like Nate, since team of the year, it's not worth saving packs. But right now, you've got a best of re-release that is out, which I've only packed like Isco and Zakaria from. So I'm even considering starting to save some of these packs. If you're doing the daily play completionist, or if even you haven't started this, or you're barely working at it, like try to get this done. You get some good packs, especially the last couple of days. 85 double, 84 4, 84 5, and to finish the whole thing off, you get another 85 4. Those are the good packs that you can save. The higher rated ones that give you a better chance of packing a foot birthday same thing with maybe the nwsl packs as well you got an 84.4 there 84.5 for completing the whole thing so that's what i would tell you to do if you want to start saving some packs and then of course the 83 times 10s and sbcs um you can save those you can save the well i guess it's really not worth saving the encore icons or the 85 plus when that comes back those are just kind of fixed player releases so yeah, I think there's decent enough packs to save right now with pretty high rating guarantees that if you want a shot at a full birthday, why, why not, right? Because these cards seem basically unpackable. Might as well save for icons and full birthday players in packs. Now, we already mentioned kind of the season. I did see kind of a leak just a few hours ago on Twitter um, that there is a spring update that is coming to FC24. Details to be revealed soon. And what that reminded me of right away was, remember how we had the holiday update and there was like snow in the menus and they it, they also did pitch notes. This was like the reduced midfield congestion and all that sort of stuff. I think it's something along those lines with maybe some menu type stuff. I don't know what they're going to change, but it should be like a title update and maybe some updates to the season and stuff like that coming as well. They'll probably add some new um, star heads. And it says they're also adding players to Ultimate Team 2. And I know for a fact that there have been players added to kickoff, like Suarez for Inter Miami, that are not yet in Ultimate Team. So maybe they'll add some of those cards in. Imagine a foot birthday Suarez Inter Miami. That would be sick. So fingers crossed for some cool additions like that inside a foot birthday as well in the next couple of weeks so that's kind of all the foot birthday news but let me know down in the comments if you're going to save packs or not i mean i feel like right now i might as well save one or two there's not very many SBCs that i feel like i must craft right now unless that changes i think i'm going to start saving just maybe a couple packs per day because the grind and the craft for me without good showdown SBCs is kind of like, you know what, let's take a step back and start saving a few packs. And it also, me, also gives me a little bit of motivation to try and save a few of those packs for the let's save and let's just make my goal to save for foot birthday for the, the what could be, right, with those players that are coming out. And maybe as we start to see the leaks, that will be a better time to decide, should I save packs for what players look like are going to be coming out? Does it make it hype? For me so that's kind of the foot birthday conversation i wanted to go over today and outlining the promo for you guys let's talk about tuesday content today on this game 
Gamble Tuesdays. We say it every single week. It's because these player picks with the promo cards of old, um, they get released every single week. I mean, who's not to think that we're going to get this again today, whether it's 87 plus, 1 of 4 this week instead of 86 plus. That's probably possible. And it's, again, just a fun SBC to craft if you want to work it through the menus. Nothing too crazy. They're pretty cheap. I think we're going to maybe get something along those lines today. And um, also a showdown, right? Okay, here's my thing. We've had a really cracked showdown, and then it just dropped off. Like, Isak and Chilwell was decent, but it was, you know, a step down. And then the last two days have just been pretty mid-showdowns, right? Or L's. We need another big set of showdowns like Felix and Depay. This is the showdown right here that really is going to get people excited for a game again. And fingers crossed, that's either today or tomorrow. Because now for the games, like we've mentioned, the, the three biggest showdowns that are leaked, Wolf versus Knopf, Bastoni and Labatka, and then, of course, Felix and Depay. Those games are all coming up either this Saturday or Sunday, I believe. Um, so hopefully those are the next three showdown SBCs we get on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I'm hoping that at least one, if not two of them, are boosted up just like Akanji and um, Bobby Clark were. That's the hope for those cards. That's what it's going to take for there to be another hype showdown SBC. Two playstyle pluses and 88 or 89 rated. That's what we need, EA, okay? So... Juice up those cards. We're going to get a showdown today. We just don't know who it's going to be. I hope that it is Felix. And then I guess potentially today could be the next Winter Wildcard player SBC as well. They started this trend by doing one SBC, taking a day off, dropping another one on Sunday for Yashin. We had nothing yesterday. Maybe we will get a leak for the Winter Wild Cards icon that could be released today, and then that card could actually be released. So watch out for that either today or maybe even Thursday as well. So watch out for that. And then also one thing I'd say too is it's Champions League Day again, guys. We have games taking place, and that means there is potential upgrades on the line. Gabby Jesus and Galino are the matchup, right? Gabby Jesus is on the market. Galino was an objective. And then Barca and Napoli, and I still have on my transfer list, the Pedri that I bought for 1.05. I think right now he's just below 1.1 or right around 1.1 million coins. Yeah, so he's getting listed a little bit more, but I'm going to hold on to this card because these guys usually do rise up a little bit into the game. Um, so I'm going to go with that today. If you want to sell on the hype, you can. A lot of these games, like Arsenal are down on aggregate right now against Porto. Don't forget that. Um, and even the Barca-Napoli game, What's the aggregate, aggregate uh, score in this game? It's one-to-one -one after the first leg. So this second leg is in Barca, uh, and the second leg is at Emirates Stadium for Arsenal. But they got to show up, and they got to show out for those quote-unquote favorites, you would say, to go ahead and win these games. So there's going to be some market movements today. A lot of cards, or some cards, will be crashing. Other ones will be going up. Uh, depending on who wins. So sell on the hype if you don't want to risk it. But of course, if you want to trade with those cards, watch them because these guys are rare. Remember Gabriel Jesus last week dropped off a ton. This guy was like three and a half mil or something. And now he's 2.4, 2.5. He might go up before the game. He could go up even higher after the game or during the game if Arsenal come back uh, and take the league, the lead and the aggregate lead as well to move on to the next round. Again, the upgrades now are all about who moves on to the next round last thing to watch out for today maybe the first leaks about foot birthday might be a little bit early but those leaks are going to start coming out here pretty soon if those guys on twitter yesterday were starting to post about just stuff upcoming for foot birthday that tells me that that sort of information you could expect to see soon in terms of the leaks but that's going to be the video for me today guys if you did enjoy it drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you're going to say packs for foot birthday or not and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nate for the count see you guys on the twitch stream today that link is down below in the description peace out.